Mike is 42. He works in tech and lives in West Sussex with his wife and five kids. He's also one of the 264 million people around the world who experience depression. I've had uh, depression for 15 years clinically, living day to day with mood swings and um, upsetting thoughts like of suicide. You can spend a week where you don't want to get out of bed every morning. Sometimes when you're depressed, you just don't feel like talking. Over the past year, Mike has swapped traditional therapy for an app and an electricity-emitting headset. Today, only half of patients are accessing the treatment they need. But this setup could help them get immediate support without even leaving the house. Take these two little jobbers here. You then go type your hair, if you have any, start the headset, and then it connects over Bluetooth. I've got a big head, so it goes on. It fits me really nicely, actually. A weak current stimulates the part of the brain that's usually less active in those with depression. It's a weaker version of similar treatments already delivered by doctors in clinics. It just tickles just a little bit. There are pages of advice on sleep, exercise, nutrition and mindfulness. I sit back and relax or I go on the app. Close your eyes and direct your focus into your body. Focus on your breathing. The latest thing I did was an attention exercise and it was, um, it was a, a video to show me how to, uh, for mindfulness, how to calm myself and focus on my breathing. Try not to think about these thoughts as distracting. They're actually part of mindfulness practice. Most communication on the app goes through a chatbot. This encourages users to stick to sessions, suggest positive actions and record progress. I've done 25 hours of stimulation. It knows that I've done 63 of the chat sessions and uh, I can see on this treatment programme that there's a downward curve um, and a downward curve means that I'm feeling less depressed, um, which is really important obviously. When you're on your medication, um, you, you you don't know how you're doing, but with this treatment, you do. Things that, that have changed are, are fairly fundamental. Um, things like being, into, be, being able to engage with my children more, um, being able to get into my workshop and, um, and do things that I find relaxing. Being out of a depressive mood is uh, life-changing. What it does is, is that it makes it easier for the brain cells to fire or to discharge. And it's been looked at in thousands of people from around the world. I think this is a potential first line treatment for, for depression, um, and particularly for people who, who cannot take antidepressant medication or who might not want to take antidepressant medication or who don't want um, psychotherapy. That doesn't mean that the treatment comes without risk though. I'm concerned that people might um, just use this instead of getting, uh, having a, a proper assessment and getting proper help. How long you can use it for, how much you can, how often you can use it, long-term effects, all of that needs to be looked at some more. Even Flo's founders in Sweden accept their device won't work for everyone. It's the same for all treatments. Even as a clinical psychologist, I know that even up to 60% go out of, of the clinician's office uh, and, and haven't got an effect from, from CBT, for example. And we know that's true with, with antidepressants also. Flo is now running a clinical study to prove the efficacy of combining the app with the headset. But it's the app they believe will really keep users on course. Uh, many people, they look at the headset. And, and think that this is the new thing. But I think the, the chatbot is at least as important. Uh, the chatbot has many, many functions. So we want to be able to explain to the user that it's important that you follow the treatment protocol. We want to be able to remind them about that to increase the efficacy. But a headset app combo is not the only option for those who are struggling. There are many other free clinically approved tools in the NHS apps library. 
new this year, this one aims to help 10 to 18 year olds improve mental health with its floating AI driven chatbot. Let's get started. And remember, I'm here with you every step of the way. This one uses cognitive behavioural therapy to help those struggling with negative thoughts. Whilst these choose your own adventure games help instill useful emotional fitness skills. Apps like these have become increasingly popular in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic. But although they may help, it's important to remember that they don't replace a medical professional.